Stop cold calling. <gasps> there, I said it. This is your first day in real estate, and I am your real estate sales trainer and coach, James Festini. And this is the program that's going to teach you how to sell more real estate in less time. Now, listen up. Why did I just say stop cold calling? Stop cold calling if you have leads. Follow up. That's it, man. End the video. It is true. They are the same. They, they, it's peanut butter and jelly. Lead generation, follow up. Lead generation, follow up. Cold calling is for people who don't have leads. If you have a database of leads, meaning that you have a calendar, and on that calendar it says, call these individuals, those are leads. Those are individuals who can say no, but they didn't. And you're re refusing to call them. I know because I suffer. This is almost like lead gen anonymous, right? Like a, like a confession, like Alcoholics Anonymous, Narcotics Anonymous. This is lead gen an uh, anonymous. My name is James Festini, and I am a lead generator. Hi, James. It's true. It's a confession. You have to tell yourself, I am addicted to lead generation and the side effect, the downside of things like alcoholism or drug addiction is the health, is the financial devastation that occurs by not getting sober. Well, here's the moment where you decide to take the 12 steps. I'm using, I'm, I'm not an alcoholic, so I don't know, but I know 12 steps, right? The first step I, I hear, you know, I should probably look this up. The first step I hear is to apologize to those who you've harmed. I don't know how I know that, but apologize. So who have you harmed? Talk to your wife, your husband, your significant other, and your children and say, kids, significant other, I am so sorry, but every time I have left to go to the office and I sit in front of a computer and I make it look like I'm tired from working, I haven't really been. I've been cold calling. And, the, and then the, the wife goes, <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> the kids are like, what does that mean? <laughs> it means you have caused, in a way, it was fun, right? It's fun. You start off drinking and drugging, and then it gets a hold of you. You start off cold calling, and you're like, oh, uh, again, going back to the drug thing. I, I heard stories that the first time you try heroin, you get ridiculously sick, which is always a mystery for people who try heroin as like, they get terribly sick. Why go back? Isn't the same thing for alcohol? First time most of us have tried alcohol, we get sick and we say never again. And then somehow we forget. This is the same intervention that we're having now, but in lead generation, it is an addiction. I know because I treat this addiction all the time. The majority of people who follow my drug of choice, who consume my drug of choice, are addicted to the results, the high, the hit, the dopamine that is involved with getting a lead, getting a lead, right? You feel like you're having conversations. Things are happening. Things are moving and shaking. You're sitting down and it's like every 30, 60, 90 seconds, something is happening. You're getting a hit. I'm talking to people. And it's not even like if you're if you're addicted to this, it's not even the fear of rejection anymore. You're not like, oh, I'm rejected. You don't care. No, the rejection is not a thing. It's getting over the amount of no's that comes to the maybe or to the yes. But let me ask you this very, very important question. Do you think you're going to get a listing from a cold call? Answer yourself this question. Do you think you're going to get a listing? Because we're talking about listings. You know, I'm not a buyer's agent. You know, I'm showing buyers today. They have to be super hot, super ready to sign. Roll over. We're done. Okay. This is about listings. I talk about listings. My focus is to generate market inventory and then create product that I can sell. That's where the advertising comes in. I want to sell a product to generate inquiries to convert leads. Yeah, I don't have a problem with online inquiries because I'm generating them as a result of having listings. See, most of you who are using 
Oh, better not be using. Hey, by the way, if you're using Zillow, just hit the unsubscribe button and block me. I don't want to hear. I don't want you guys to do it unless you're seeking help, right? Unless you're addicted to. Ooh, I didn't even talk about that addiction. The addiction of paying the inquiry dealer, right? The highest quality inquiries. Zillow or Trulia or Realtor.com, Facebook ads that are not advertising your listing, but they're advertising uh, quanta, right? The, the, what is and what isn't. Because you think that you are getting uh, a name or an email address of somebody who's interested. But as I've told you the math before, that with 165 million active users on Zillow and only about 5 million homes being sold, there are 160 million people every month who are kicking the tire and they're selling it back to you. This is, um, let's go back to the drug thing. I seem to be uh, on a drug kick. Heroin users who can't afford heroin or the dealers who deal heroin, they use a substance called fentanyl, which is super powerful but super dangerous lead generation and follow up. My friends stop cold calling, pick up the phone and speak to your follow-ups. Let's put it this way. If you're using Mojo, for example, if you're using the Mojo dialer, there's a moment when you get through your list where Mojo says your call session has ended. Please log out of the dialer and start a new calling session. Does that make sense? Please log out of your dialer and start a new call session. If you're getting there with your cold calls, your list might not be big enough or your settings might be off. If you get that notification when you're doing your follow-ups, perfect. It's time to cold call. Stop cold calling. Start following up. Get through your follow-ups. Immediately make the decision to, to go into detox, relapse, will be inevitable. I suffer from it. I confessed. My name is James Festini and I am a lead generation addict. I enjoy the feeling of sitting down for six hours and blowing through and getting 150, 200 contacts and generating five leads and then just throwing them behind me. But if you're going to do this right, most similar to any uh, gold miner, if you're mining for gold, right, you're sitting by the river, that's prospecting. You're generating gold. But if you find a nugget as a gold miner, what do you do? You put it in a pile and you keep looking. At what point will you stand up from that riverbed and say, okay, you know what? I I can't put this on my mule. It's too heavy. I have to take it down to the assayer's office, the guy who weighs the gold and measures the quality and the purity of the gold. And then it gets melted. You sell it. It's a brick. Now you have equity. You go back to the river and find more. I need you to take the bundle of gold that with dirt and impurities in it and take it down to the assayer's office and see if it's actually worth that river. Is that river even worth panning? Are you getting enough out of it? If you're at a river and you keep grabbing nuggets and you're chucking them over your shoulder and you never go to test the quality, you just spend your whole time panning for gold what are you doing? What, like, what, 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 what is this? You're not panning for gold. You're swirling water in a pan next to the river. See, no, no gold miner in their right mind would do that. They would say, no, no, no. There's a, there's a moment where I have to grab my bundle, throw it on the mule and get down. Why is it? Why is it that when we do this as a real estate agent, we lead generate and we make all of these crazy efforts to get gold in a pile, in a bundle, but never cash it in. You need to cash in your leads. If you don't have leads, you get down on your knees and stick the dish in the river and break your back until you have a pile big enough to do something with it. That is the process. We are prospecting. That's what it's worth. Do not ignore, do not dismiss your leads. Do not discredit your efforts. You have a database already and you look at it and you say, ah, they're probably not good. How do you know this? You haven't even taken it to the, to the moment where you identify the quality. You haven't done that. So how are you by any authority qualified to say they're not good if you haven't followed up? It's, it's insane. 
You need to, you have gold. You think it's gold. It's something there. There's a reason why you pulled it out of the river of dirt and rocks and said, "Mm, this is something. Let me put it here. Let me put it here. I'll deal with it later because I'm feeling the rush of discovery. Eureka, I got it. And then something happens where you say, what, 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 what is this disconnect? I know as an addict of lead generation, I, I'm telling you this because I want to identify the addiction. I want to cure this habit immediately so that I'm not wasting my time, that I'm not spending all of this time wasting away in lead generation, that I actually make conversion happen. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to find me, it's james at jamesfestini.com. Find me and let's let's get to work. I do one-on-one coaching on an extremely limited basis because I don't have time for the people who want to just go to the jeweler and buy the gold at a marked up price. I want people who are willing to break their back and work. I want you to get back to work. People ask me all the time, where do I get my data? How do I have so many good numbers without spending an arm and a leg? Because I recommend you get it from three places and I merge them to create the ultimate white pages. Two of them are Cole Realty Resources and TelephoneList.biz. They will provide you names, addresses, phone numbers, along with email addresses scrubbed against the do not call list, available for both US and Canada. Now, have you seen my amazing local market videos for my real estate business? In one word, Teradatum. They make videos branded to your brokerage and automatically update them every month with videos by zip code, county, city, and your hyper local market, and it's extremely affordable. Have you guys seen my website lately? Well, you should. It's absolutely gorgeous. I owe it all to Zentap. They will help you with your advertising using your MLS, IDX, and social media to attract an audience and engage your leads using sophisticated bots. Now, you're gonna need a powerful CRM to manage all of this, and as you know, Mojo Selling Solutions is more than just a dialer. It's the most powerful CRM bar none. Mojo provides you expires for sell by owners, and that is the third list of data along with email and mail campaigns. For more information on any of these products along with my personal coaching and training products, go to jamesfestini.com today. Or just show financial support at any amount on patreon.com forward slash jamesfestini. Now, get back to work.